Hello, so as I said in my previous video, um, it's totally possible to record the Pico's output from EigenD directly on your computer through uh, the Soundflower virtual audio interface and then recording into uh, an audio recorder like, for example, Audacity. Now the next step is to actually combine this audio uh, of, of, the, of EigenD with the video that you're recording. Um, there are a couple of uh, professional solutions for this. Um, if you've got professional gear, you could rely on uh, uh, a constant timecode that is uh, being emitted by a timecode generator and that you record together with your video and your audio, like for example with SMTP. Um, but I suppose that people that are watching these videos don't actually have access to equipment like that. I personally don't. Um, so we're going to do it an old-fashioned way, and that is to actually manually um, align the audio that you recorded in Audacity with the audio that you recorded uh, on your camera. So to be able to do that, you have to have a reference point, and um, the reference point here is going to be the sound. So even though <clears throat> we will be recording uh, the Pico in Audacity, the important part is that the output of your Mac speakers have to be amplified so that your video camera can actually record this audio. So what I did was um, I connected this very simple GBL portable speakers to the output uh, of my Mac. Um, and I put it down on the floor here so that I can hear myself play and the video camera will um, record that sound together with Audacity that records the same sound, but in uh, the best possible quality. Um, <clears throat> so after that is done, after we've recorded that, the, another little tip that I, that I usually do is to have a very clear reference point. So while the notes that you're playing might be um, useful to, um, to try to pinpoint the audio later on so that they fall on the exact same time, However, it's much easier if you've got uh, something very clear and distinct, like, for example, a, a metronome, like the metronome that ships with, uh, with Eigendy. So um, let's, let's play a little, a little piece of music here so that you can see what happens. So Audacity is already recording. I will cut off this little bit uh, that happens in the front afterwards. <clears throat> so um, this is a part of uh, Winter Movement, also uh, a live recording that I posted earlier on YouTube. Now, th once that is done, you switch to, the, uh, for example, the, the, the drummer here, and you turn on the metronome and turn the drummer on. So now we've got a reference point um, that is very clear and distinct and makes it very easy to actually align the two different audios um, basically by trusting your ears. Let's now see what happens when you bring this into iMovie. So this is the audio that I recorded earlier in Audacity. We can listen to it. So it sounds quite nice. It's a perfect recording of what came out of Eigendy. Uh, what you probably want to do is to normalize it. Ideally, you wouldn't rely on a, an automatic normalizer and do some kind of mastering manually to get the best possible sound out of a, a recording, but this is outside of the scope of this tutorial. You can also see here the reference metronome that we will be using later on, and then a whole bunch of nothing at the end that we will just remove so now your file is not as long once that is done we can export it so we export this file and it's best to actually uh, use a lossless audio audio format here um, you got a number of selections here you got flag uh, wave AIFF. -F. Um, it's probably best to use AIFF -F, um, and let's save it to your desktop or whatever you want to put it so that you can use it in iMovie later. 
So this is, uh, let's call it winter move and save. Okay. So it has now been exported to my desktop. You can see that it is here. And let's now switch to iMovie. So I already import the video that I recorded earlier. Very clear. Right. So what I want to do now is to find the location where I actually start playing and I can scrub over it. So this is about it. So that's the start around 11.53.2. And the end. That's the metronome. So this is until where I want to drag it. And then I want to take that video and add it to my project. But you can hear that the audio is has got a lot of noise because it's recording because, because it's recording through the audio of um, of the camera. So what we want to do now here is right click on this clip and detach the audio so that the audio that was recorded with the video is now a separate track. And then you can go to your desktop and you drag the file that you exported earlier onto your project. So now the first thing that we will do is to roughly align them. So you can hear that they really start at a different time. So, the original one starts around here, while this one starts almost immediately. Right? And now to make this easier, you can double click on the old version and, for example, reduce the volume. We're almost there. And now we can go at the metronome at the end to verify if we're actually correct. You might move it a little bit and you can use your cursor keys to go back and forth. And turn the drum around. So now we're correct. This is sufficiently aligned. And then you can select uh, this audio track and delete it and only preserve the one that you recorded through Audacity. And as you can hear, the audio is perfect. There is no noise uh, from the background coming in and you've got exactly the sound that was played, playing through EigenD. Okay, I hope this was useful and uh, will allow people to submit uh, more entries for the competition, which ends in a couple of days. Thanks for watching. Bye.